Acid or base? Acid or base? I know! How many purriers does it take to change a light bulb? Hey, Mr. Purrier, don't light bulbs use electrons to work? Sure. When the bulb is connected to a power supply, the electrons travel along the circuit and continuously bump into the filament's atoms, causing them to vibrate. The atoms heat up to around 2,200 degrees Celsius and boom, light. That's some good electrolytes. The term electrolytes is actually just another term for minerals and refers to the electrical properties or the property of being carriers of electrical energy, which minerals are. Hmm, I think I'm gonna make a monkey cake. Darn, I'm out of flour. Hey, Mr. Purrier, doesn't baking involve chemical reactions? Sure. In this reaction, you will see baking soda and distilled vinegar. Baking soda or baking powder are often used in baked goods. As they react with anything acidic, they create bubbles. One of the cake or cupcakes or bread is in the oven. The baking soda or baking powder reacts with the acidic ingredients, causing bubbles, which causes the baked good to rise. Hey Mr. Purrier, doesn't a gas law affect how the pistons of a car engine work? Sure. Solve the equation, man. Solve the equation. Hurry up. There, 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 there. <laughs> I need a Dr. Pepper. Hey, Mr. Purrier, those waves remind me of that double slit experiment. Got anything to say? Brr, it's cold. Right. I'll just ask Dr. Quantum. If we shoot these tiny bits through two slits, we should get, like the marbles, two bands. What? An interference pattern. They decide to shoot electrons through one at a time. 
But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. I put a measuring device by one slit to see which one it went through and let it fly. When they observed, the electron went back to behaving like a little marble. It produced a pattern of two bands, not an interference pattern of many. Hey, Mr. Perrier, doesn't opening a can of soda also have to do with the gas law? Sure. The sound a can of soda makes when opened is because the soda is super saturated with carbon dioxide when it is packed to prevent the loss of carbonation. When the top is opened, the pressure of carbon dioxide in the soda wants to equalize with the carbon dioxide in the air. It does so quickly, creating the hissing noise. A fire can't burn unless it has three elements. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. Ooh, pretty colors. So kids, what's the moral of this story? Is it intermolecular forces, Mr. Perrier? Sure. I wear my pants skin tight, I wear my dark sunglasses in the middle of the night And when I look in the mirror, I'm in such an awesome sight It makes me want to kneel down and pray Sorry, I forgot to turn it on There you go, Poppy